Hey everyone, welcome to the video. And in this video, we are going to see different types of inputs which are available in the HTML, and we are going to see one by one the first type. So there are five different categories of input which are available in HTML. So the very first is general inputs, and the second we have meta inputs, and every input have their different category just like uh, meta input or uh, would be combined. Or file, image, video, and option inputs, which are uh, just like radio checkbox, that kind of advanced inputs are some interesting that we are going to see, and some delay and duration inputs, just like time and a lot of stuff. So, the first category that we are going to explore, which is general inputs. So, the first thing that we have to do is to create a form. We need form because we have some inputs. Which required to submit, just like submit button, that kind of value. So, the first input that we are going to see is very general, just like text. We all know why we use text for any user thing or any category. If we do some hello word, so you can use it for username or any value that you want to, to get from the user, the basic one. The second thing that we are going to see, which are inputs type number. And a number is something interesting, just like if I want to pass some string, so it will not take except E because it's a default JavaScript behavior. So if I want to act, uh, try to add some string, it will not get, uh, uh, allow me to type, but if you pass some string, so it will do that. And also you can set uh, the min max value to it, just like minimum of 10 and max would be. Hundred, so it will automatically customize, and you can start the number from either ten to uh, eleven, twelve. So user can only select the value that you are you want to get from user. So that I put the validations from ten to hundred. So that that's quite interesting, and there are a bunch of things that you can do as well. So the next thing that we have is input type email. So it also well, uh, so if you put required over here, the read only is also a property. Uh, so, but it's not required, it's not good with email. So, what? So, if you put required over here, and if you take a second, the input submit. And if I try to require to give value submit and this. If I try to, uh, uh, like, it's a terming email, if I want to pass, it will give me an error that I have to include a direct sign because it's missing. So, that kind of uh, validation that you can put to HTML because it's yeah, important and a lot of people uh, read or like uh, work on JavaScript thing to add the kind of requirement and the, like the uh, require validations to the code, but you can simply do that with the HTML. So, if I type some under it, then I put email.com, so it will take, but also it's a dummy email, uh, you have to do uh, all required uh, things as well, just like some regular expression things, so user can only input the valid email, and there are a lot of third party things that you can also do. Uh, for requirements. So the next input that we have in a general category is that uh, password. So password input we all know why we use. So it's hidden type. If you want to access password from the user, the text is hidden. So like you can do the things with. So uh, you can do the bunch of things with password as well. You can if you want to change the dot 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 you can do that with a star as well so yeah uh, that kind of things and the second next thing that we have is reset so just like reset is also input type like it's a button so put type reset if you put reset and if you put value to the uh, reset button so if I put something here, hello, let's see, people, if I reset the value, it will automatically reset it. If I put hello, 
values. It will automatically reset the value and can do same thing. Like uh, if you have some project, if you are working on a project and you want to particular uh, action when uh, people or any uh, end user put the click the reset button, it will automatically destroy. So you can use its functionality. So this is the general input category and comment to it. So just like general. Inputs, general inputs, so and add comment over here. So these are the general inputs, and the next thing that we are going to see the media inputs. Media input is all category because the media is simply just like audio, video, image, files, similar to that. So first thing that we have as the input as a file. So whenever you want to choose something file, so you can put just like uh, JPG or there, or like that kind of thing. And then accept value, you can put the JPG. So whenever I select, it will only uh, allow me to insert to do that. So it's only insert the JPG values. And yeah, like there are different things as well you can do, just like accept video as well. And but try to use the right input, like we have input for video as well. Uh, no, we don't have input for video, but we, we can accept it from the input type of the image. So, whenever, so whenever user want to uh, accept you is like if you're developing a particular application, you need to use only put the image value. So it's simply like you can go and like it only select to the image. So you can go with the image tag as well. There are different ways to use image tag, image inputs. So yeah, you can explore it. This, the third category that we have is option inputs. So option inputs are like. We all know what option inputs. Similar, like we, if we have some in, inputs for option category, just like when we choose options, when we have more than one option, just like yes or no, male, female, uh, some checkbox, so that kind of inputs are come with, come with the optional inputs, option inputs, so input type, radio, so you can simply like. Okay, if you provide the value name, or you can just do the if you take the label, then it will look better. So, if I put label, label or mail, and I put the value mail, so it's simply it's like mail. You can, and you can also, there is a radio box where you can take the multiple inputs, so which we can just go for it. The second thing we have is input type checkbox. So same thing like checkbox comes with a square and you can just click and this other the right. It's click on check. It's done. So this is a checkbox and the most of the people don't know about this input is input range. So if you are developing some scroll bars or like want to some good values on the scroll or any specific range, so you can just like work on it, like input type range. So you can simply uh, just take this input. So these are the option inputs we see right now, and the fourth category that we have is advanced category, which is quite interesting. Like most of the people don't know about this category, so advanced inputs. So advanced inputs, the most of the inputs we already know. But most of the uh, like most of the people don't know about this inputs. So if you put input type hidden, so here are there is like it's here. If you do the thing, so if we go to the form and put type hidden, so so it's it's showing like. We we have an input input type hidden 
and and like there is a property called display now so yeah like this is how it works and it's it's here like it's available on a web page but it's not showing for we say the property it yeah. and there is a css behavior on the chrome there is a display none property add to it this is the default so yeah like this is the important property like i have like i don't see any use of this input but sometimes we need to hide some inputs and like maybe uh, you can use it i never use but better to know what exists as a developer and thus very quite interesting which is most of time i use is input type color so most of the people invest time to create color palettes and color things for their web app or any javascript things to write extra code but you can simply select code you can take value from it as well you can set a particular uh, javascript thing to get value and you can modify a lot of things you can like if i say to red it will automatically change the background a lot of creative thing that you can do you can develop as a developer so input type color is also good and this type of input we already know input type search if i put the placeholder the diff placeholder uh, the default text that we put to it and search bar so yeah so you can put the search bar this is a search url you can put and what else the last remaining that we have is url so put type url so whenever user with put string it will not get you have to provide the exact link that you want to do like if you put it will accept url so yeah which is very important so and the last category that we have is the last category we have duration category duration or delay you can say to it duration or delay inputs which is related to time and durations that i can put to type date so we'll take date so you can customize the complete cat like complete calendar over here that's like two well or less or something like that two bunch of things like and you you will create a a whole category the whole calendar here so you don't need to do extra efforts you can just simply style it with our css and we can add functionality just go on and get documentations how to work with uh, input type date so you will get lot of things so input time so input as a time which is also a good property if you want to select if you want to use a select or set the time if you are working with some time or uh, any particular application or if you want to use this property in future you can do it so the next is like input type week put months input date type local like there are lot of the date again input type date we already see what we have in week so it's week you can do week so how it works is like simple calendar here yeah, so i never do like week it automatically set a particular week put type date time is and date time local so it will automatically set the local values so like it will take date and time both so if i say to seven or something today the today is the 11th august it will take the value in like but today will be like 15 august am so it will automatic set like so you can get this two inputs in a single uh, at a single value so you can do that as well so yeah like these are the inputs that available in the html so yeah like this is it i put the all the code and link description code and links 
all in the description section. So if I want to work on it or you want to just see what kind of HTML inputs available, so you can definitely go and like, take a look at it, how it works and how it can modify as well. So thanks for watching. And if you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. I will happy to reply you all.